what is going on everybody <sighs> we got so dumped on with snow it is ridiculous absolutely horrendous is the word i'm going to use just like last year ice season here in minnesota is starting out at an impressively horrible rate we got like 20 inches of snow we had a bunch of slush on the lakes but the silver lining is this lake right here i walked out on about two inches of snow um either the slush is froze hard enough just hard enough for me to walk on or maybe it's frozen down all the way i don't know but either way it's frozen enough to where i could easily walk from this access out here to this lake so we are going to do some pike fishing today with some sullivan tip downs that is the plan and uh i got some big golden shiners <clears throat> that i picked up over at from wit there at wit's quality bait and tackle in the detroit lakes that guy he is loaded up with bait right now he's got a whole bunch of golden shiners like right now the bite is hot on walleyes i know it dips off usually after the first year sometime but right now the bite is hot on walleyes um so head over there get your golden shiners um i think he has rainbows fatheads uh sucker minnows of all sizes like he's loaded up with bait and ready to go and from what i'm seeing these lakes are getting a lot better a couple days everything will be frozen and you know you won't even know what's going on but uh anyway i fished this lake this fall and i got some walleyes i got some northerns i got some nice pike and that is the reason i'm here i actually have some pins dropped right on this front this front edge here there's a there's a weed edge right here that was loaded up with bait fish okay and uh i caught some pike here i caught some walleyes i caught some bass caught a little bit of everything here but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set up a couple of sullivan tip downs with some ice stopper bobbers along this edge here and i'll show you how that process works um pretty sweet setup you guys have seen me do it in the past and for you that you that haven't you're about to be in for something special but what I want to show you right here is, see that? I could throw this thing across the lake if I wanted to. Maybe not that far, but we have the new Ion Alpha Plus. This thing comes in at 15.9 pounds. And I'm not kidding you. I don't want, you know, I don't want people being mad at me, but this cuts faster than like any auger out there, electric auger, probably twice as fast. I'm gonna get some hate for that, but it's true. I'm gonna cut a hole here quick and show you guys how fast this is. I'm just gonna make sure that you get into the camera view here. So, right here, I'm gonna cut this hole. So this auger is variable speed. It's got, literally, you can just barely touch the trigger. See that? It's going slow. Or you can pump it up. Variable speed on this thing. Absolutely awesome. I love, you know, and the other thing I really like about this, uh, they redesigned the handle on it. You know, it doesn't have that, that uh, bicycle handlebar anymore. Um, very stout, and it's compact auger. The flighting weighs nothing. Uh, with these blades, it rips through the ice. I've only drilled a couple holes with it, and I am beyond impressed with it. Anyway, let's cut a hole with it quick. Ready? How long did that take? Less than a millisecond, you guys. That was so fast. Oh my gosh. There's quite a bit of ice here too. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut one more just to show you guys how fast that was. Ready? There you go. This thing eats ice like two and a half inches per second. It's ridiculous. And I think you get, I think it's 2,000 inches of ice per battery, 1,600 or 2,000. I think it's 2,000. Don't hold me to that. But like, this auger is so sweet, you guys. I'm, I sold the old Strike Master. It was a good auger. I have nothing against the old Strike Master. Thing cut a lot of holes for me. Um, it was definitely heavier than I like to see. But every year they innovate, you know, a uh, gas auger five years ago was like the best thing since sliced bread, you know. Um, now they're innovating every day more and more. Ion Alpha Plus is the auger to have in your arsenal. Well, I'm going to get these tip downs set up and we're going to show you how that works. All right, so here we have a Sullivan tip down. Okay, pretty easy to set up. 
Gonna clean my hole out here quick, like this. There we go. Oh, got my tip down here. Now I'm just, I'm running a, I have a single treble here, a liquid steel leader from Beaver Dam tip-ups, I believe it's called, or Beaver, you guys know what Beaver Dam tip-ups are. Oh, let's see here, I gotta find, I have a depth bomb in here somewhere. Don't I? I thought I did. Oh, I know I do. Where's it at? Maybe I don't. Do I? Oh, don't tell me I don't have one. Oh, there it is, okay. So, got a depth bomb here. I'm just gonna tie this on here all old school. Drop this down in the water. Got, the, got an Okuma bait feeder reel here. Ooh, that's kind of deep. Okay, so I'm gonna reel this down. Okay, so I know that that's on bottom. All right, so I want this bait about, I don't know, you know, three to five feet off the of bottom. Got my depth bomb here. Got my golden shiners here. There we go. Kind of cold out, so I gotta make sure and uh, close that lid really quick. Here we go. Put a nice big golden shiner on here, hook through the back, like so. Drop that down there. How's it going? No, actually, I'm just shooting an intro quick. Uh, so I got my ice stopper bobber on here. Got some of this liquid solution here. It's non-toxic, best part about it. And what it's gonna do is that's gonna allow my line to slide freely through this bobber. So it's actually not a bobber, it's more of a device to keep your line from freezing. But knowing my tip of my rod was right down there on the water. So I'm gonna put this bait feeder in here, get my tip down set, right about there. Oop, a little bit closer to the hole. There we go. I got the bait feeder switch on. Oh, what's going on there? Huh. Oh, is that a fish? No. So I'm gonna reel this down. So now I know I know that this bait's roughly about three feet off the bottom. So I'm gonna flip up the bait feeder switch, and then basically I just have to sit here and clean the hole out when I get a chance and wait for this rod to tip down the hole. We'll see when that happens. Listen to that drag go. And my GoPro died, so I'm videotaping this with my phone. Got him. Oh. oh, you guys, my GoPro literally died. Right as I was picking this up. Hopefully the phone is rolling. One, big one. This thing ran a long ways. I mean, it ran a long ways. Big crapola. Could be another decent fish. it is our it might be our other one I, I was hoping ooh, wow I was hoping to get a couple fish and that between that 26 to 30 inch range to eat and it might be the only two we catch today a 
barrel swivel hooked on the ice there for a second. Oh yeah. I'll bet that's another keeper. Yeah, I'll bet it is. Nice fat for that guy. Probably a 27 inch fish, I'll bet. Let's go measure him on the bump board quick. All right. Oh yeah. 28 and a quarter. Look at that, you guys. Got two perfect pike for eating on these tip downs today. That's awesome. There we go. Sullivan tip downs, knocking some pike out. Cold today, but I've been uh, hunkered down the old Eskimo Wide One XR here, and it's, I mean, it's it's been super nice inside there. Been waiting. This it's probably been. We're gonna stick it out. Hopefully, get another one. All right, we got a, another fish peel line here. Something seriously wrong with my GoPro. I don't know what it is. It's not good. Steam is taking line. Now we're gonna hit him. We're gonna hit him. Got him. There we go. Ooh. This one could have some shoulders on it, boys. Don't know why my GoPro is acting goofy. Hopefully, I get this on video. Well, it's, I'm getting it on my phone, so it is what it is. Oh, here comes this. Oh, no. Ooh. We just caught one not 10 minutes ago on the other tip down over there. Got him. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, what do we got? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful out here, you guys. What do we ooh. Feels good getting these Vulcan rods out. Finally, froze up a little bit. Now it's probably about 3:30, and these fish have started to heat, started to feed a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, there's another nice pike. There we go. We already have our two fish that we're going to eat. So I'm guessing this one here is probably right around that. 26 inch range as well give or take but we don't need any more than that anyway hopefully you guys can see this because I got to fix my GoPro look at that chunky chunky beautiful Minnesota pike we're gonna let this guy go and then I'm gonna try to figure out that GoPro situation going back gone all right okay let's try and figure that out if you guys are seeing this this is bad because i've actually made this video three times my gopros are just not cooperating it's just a bad deal but anyway so i apologize for that one clip um there's no audio on it i don't think because my go my, my gopros were acting up just crazy um that last fish was actually the ideal fish to have on video to fight. You guys could see I walked up. Um, I'm going to put it on here anyway. I don't know if there's going to be any audio to it or if I'm going to put some fancy music to it. I'm gonna, you're going to see me talking. Probably not going to hear nothing coming out. But I walked up to that rod. That rod is down in the hole. Bait feeder is engaged. And you could, if, if the audio was on, you could just hear that drag just peeling. And I just picked that rod up, gave that fish some time. 
literally just swung the rod. He didn't feel a thing. Reel down, engage it, set the hook, fight the fish on the rod. And that's exactly what our plan was today. And it worked out pretty good. I think we caught four fish. We kept two. Could have, I mean, I think this, the third one was maybe a legal fish too, but you're allowed, you know, two over 26 here in Minnesota and eight under 22 are a combination. But mm. Sullivan tip down, you guys. You guys have seen these on my channel before. Um, excellent tool for ice fishing. I will be putting this in the description of my video. I do on every single video. Look down there. Sullivan tip downs, awesome product, made in Wisconsin. There is no like competitor with this. I say it. Even I like I fish pro and stuff. They got nothing on this because the reason being is so when you have a rod in a traditional, even like an iFish Pro, this rod is sitting like this, and now, now when this fish is pulling, that line is going up and it's creating a, it's creating friction on this tip. See how that tip's going like that? Okay, so that, cre that creates fr friction, causing a lot of fish to drop the baits. With a tip down, you get this rod tipped down in the hole and there is no friction. This line goes straight, it's so much smoother. It goes straight out of the rod guides, right down the hole. You have a lot less drop baits. Um, some people are gonna say it doesn't matter, but the truth is it does matter. Uh, the, you know, the, the one time I would say it wouldn't really matter is with pike, because pike are pretty ferocious. Most of the time, they'll grab it. They don't care about a little friction. Um, and uh, yeah, but with walleyes, I tell you what, they drop a lot of baits. Um, anyway, things you need, Sullivan tip down, make sure it's a green one. Tuned up custom rods, 42 inch Vulcan, awesome rod. You just need a big rod, a big predator rod for fighting these fish. And this thing will handle about anything. 20 pound ice braid on here, ice stopper bobber that has that solution that goes in there. Just make sure that, that line keeps sliding through there. So when you get a fish on, and your rod drops, you can take all the line it wants before you reel down and set that hook. Okuma 1000 BF reel, probably the most important part, you gotta have a bait feeder on these to make it work really well. Bait feeder switches up when you put it in there like I showed you. Fish is pulling drag, pulling drag, you notice your tip down is down, you run over there, grab it, flip this switch down, set the hook, fight the fish, or if you do one and a half rotation, it will also disengage that bait feeder and you'll set the hook. Um, I'm just fishing on a point back here. It's eight or 10 feet deep is where the tip downs were at. A lot of bait fish up here uh, that there was, there was pike and stuff up here this fall. So it's a good place to relate to um, now. As I dropped some pins, we caught some fish. A lot of bait fish up here and the pike are feeding on them. Anyway, <clears throat> do me a favor, go give me a follow on my social media pages. 330 Maniac Outdoors on Facebook. 330 Maniac Fishing on Instagram, the Minnesota Trapper on Instagram, and also a 330 Maniac TikTok page, you guys. Yeah, I know, I do it. Anyway, it just, this video worked out, but it was such a chore, you guys. Um, anyway, hope you're enjoying my trapping videos, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.